this has an E naught value of minus 0 0.76 volts. Now we know that since this is negative, we'll have to, and so we know that the E naught for the zinc cell is lower than the E naught for the, the silver cell because we know that this is positive and this is negative. So we will in, have to invert the negative part, which is Z in 2 plus plus 2 E negative and uh, this becomes 0 0.76 because now that we have inverted the sign will also invert this will become plus 0 0.76 then we add these two together after inverting 0 0.8 plus 0 0.76 will give us 1.56 volts and this is the value that you can see over here 1.56 volts and obviously since zinc is negative it will it becomes the negative electrode because it has a lower E naught value. Now let's do this for the other other cell, which is the copper, a copper and Fe three plus and Fe two plus cell. So this one on the right. Now for this uh, cell, this half cell. It's Cu, and the E naught is plus zero point three four. Sorry for writing 344. Let me just write this all over again. Plus 0.34 volts. Then on this side, we have Fe3 plus plus E negative, giving us Fe2 plus with an E naught or plus 0.77 volts. You will find these E0 values in the data booklet. Uh, and um, now, uh, now that we have done this, um, we uh, so you can see that plus 0.34 is less than plus 0.77. So what we will do is we will have to uh, we'll have to invert the copper equation this time because it is the lower value. So this will become Cu gives. Cu2 plus plus 2E negative and we'll have to invert the sign so this becomes minus 0 0.34 volts and now that this has become minus 0 0.34 volts we will add 0 0.77 and minus 0 0.34 and what we get is plus 0 0.43 volts when we do this addition so you can see that this is plus 0 0.34 volts and since the electrode potential of the Cu, Cu2 plus cell is lower, it is plus 0 0.34 volts which is lower than plus 0 0.77 volts over here. This becomes the negative electrode, so negative and this becomes the positive electrode. So the, the, the electrons are flowing in this direction towards the right and in this case the electrons are flowing towards the left in this direction. So this is how we calculate standard cell potential. Now let's do some exercise based on standard cell potentials and uh, half cells and all of or, and whatever we have done whatever we have done till now. So a solution of iron chloride is used to dissolve unwanted copper from splinted circuit boards. Okay, iron three chloride is FeCl three, which means it contains the Fe three plus ion. So we have this information. When a copper coated printed circuit board is immersed in FeCl3 aqueous, the solution turns pale blue. Okay, so it turns pale blue because obviously we know Cu2 plus ions are being formed. Suggest an equation for the reaction between copper and iron chloride and use the data booklet to calculate the E0 for this reaction. So the the there is Fe3 plus and there is Cu and Cu2 plus, the all, whatever we have seen till now. The Fe3 plus because, uh, because of iron chloride, the copper coated printed gives us the Cu and the Cu2 plus which is the pale blue solution gives us Cu2 plus. So these are the three species we have till now and what we can see is that when the copper printed circuit board is immersed in FeCl3, it is oxidized to Cu2 plus. It is oxidized to Cu2 plus. So this means one of the uh, reduction equations that I will be needing over here is Cu2 plus plus 2E negative gives Cu. 
then Fe3 plus, so obviously if copper is being oxidized, Fe3 plus would have to be.